Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to log into a remote server via SSH with PuTTY without a password. That's right, this is a passwordless login. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and hop right on into the tutorial here. Okay, I'm gonna assume that you already have PuTTY installed, and what we're gonna do, just so we're all on the same page here, is log in and save a session to our remote server. So um, we'll get rid of this old one here and we'll make a new one. So root at the IP address for me, that's 138.197.7177. That'll be something different for you. Um, and then I will call this test server. So we'll go ahead and save that here. And then uh, we'll double click it to open. And this is my first time connecting. So it's gonna ask us about, do we trust the connection? We'll say yes. Um, and then it's asking us for the password. So I will copy that and paste it in, hit enter. And uh, pasting, by the way, for PuTTY is just right clicking on your mouse. Okay, so we're here on the remote server. Um, now that we kind of have that established how that process works, the thing that we wanna eliminate from that is the need to enter that password. So in order to do that, we're gonna need a program called PuttyGen, and we can get that from putty.org and just go ahead and click on, I'll, we're not gonna download putty, but we just need to get to the putty website. Um, in here, there is a program called puttygen. You'll see that here, uh, puttygen.exe. So I'm gonna grab the 64-bit version of that. And what I'm gonna do is drag that onto my desktop here. Okay, so let's open up puttygen and we'll bring that onto the screen here. We don't need this right now. So uh, what we wanna do is generate that public private key pair. And that is gonna enable us to basically log into the remote server without a password because we're gonna give the public key to the remote server. So let's go ahead and go through that process. We'll click on the generate button here. And this is kind of cool because it says, please generate some randomness by moving the mouse over the blank area. So the more you move your mouse, the more randomness you'll provide it. And with that, we have generated our public and private key pair. So um, this is the public key here. We'll use that in a little bit, but we also wanna save our public and private key to our um, computer somewhere. So we can do that uh, by clicking on save public key. I'm gonna uh, not, not recommend it, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna save this to my desktop. So I'm gonna call it um, ID underscore RSA dot pub and that is the um like a general convention for the name of these public keys and i just want to double check yes i did click on public key so let's save that onto our desktop and then we will save the private key as well um if you want to add a passphrase that's fine but for the sake of this tutorial i won't um so it's asking are you sure you want to save this key without a passphrase that's fine and then i'll call this one just id underscore rsa without an extension so we'll save that and they popped up over here on my other screen. Uh, so I'll just bring those here so we can look at what we're looking at. So the contents of this file is essentially this. And then the private key is something that you never wanna share with anybody. So um, I'm not gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, so we have those now on the server in order to eliminate the need to enter a password, we basically have to copy the public key onto the server. So we can do that on the server here um, in the Home directory, there's usually a file or a folder called ssh.ssh. And then in here, there is another file called authorized keys. So let's actually open that file. And I'm going to use the, the Vim text editor here um, to do that. You can use a different text editor if you need to, but uh, I'll, I'll try to walk you through it if you're going to choose to use Vim. So right now, this file is empty. Um, simply, let's copy and paste this public key in there. So. Uh, let's highlight down here from the bottom all the way to the top, copy over here. And then in order in order to enter um, edit mode in Vim, hit the I key and you'll see that we are, it's technically called insert mode. Uh, right click on your mouse to paste that key in. And then to get out of insert mode, we hit the escape button and then to um, save the file, hit shift colon and then W to write the file and Q to get out of here. So that'll essentially save the file. Hit enter, and now our authorized keys file on the remote server has our public key in it. So what we can do at this point is go into back into PuTTY. Okay, so we, we have this session open. We don't really need it open anymore. So we'll, we'll close out of this. Uh, yes, we can close the session. We'll go back into PuTTY. Just move this to the side right here. 
And what we want to do is tell our test server um, session about the location of our public and private key. So um, let's just load this for now. And what we want to do is come down here to the SSH section, expand that. And under auth, we want to expand that. Uh, actually, we not technically don't need to do that. Just click on auth. And then over here, um, it's asking for the private key file location. So we're going to browse to that on our desktop, associate that, uh, just click on the file, click on open. And what we're going to do is, and this is very important, come back to the session and with, uh, just, just to be extra sure with test server, select it, hit save. Okay. And that's gonna, if you don't do that extra step about saving the association with the private key with your session, then the next time you open putty, you're going to have to remake that connection. So just, just hit save. Um, and now let's try to load it. Let's see if that'll work without entering a password. So let's double click on test server and it's doing its thing up here and no need to enter a password. It authenticated with the public private key pair and we are good to go because we are on the server now. So, um, that is about it for passwordless login using putty. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one. Oh,